Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. It's, we're gonna keep doing some more, more lessons. Because we're slowly getting, getting through them. We can see the end of the list now, we don't have to scroll down to see everything. Let's do math number six. Hello everyone, I hope we can have fun once again today for our class together. Our last class together. Last time we learned about properly using move accuracy as an example. Probability is quite an interesting subject. Did you know that in a class with 40 students, he, there is a 90% chance that two of them will have the same birthday? I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> This is true, either, even despite the fact that there are over 300 days e each year. Isn't that remarkable? But let's move on to today's topic before we get swept along with probability again. I've been teaching you all how to calculate damage in this class using examples like type matchups, critical hits, stat boosts, and the like. All of these variables are multiplied together to calculate damage dealt to an opponent. However, did you know that there is an even simpler way to increase the damage of your Pokemon Pokemon's moves? All you have to do is have your Pokemon use a move it shares with with a type a type with. If a rock type Pokemon uses a rock type move, Stone Edge uh, with the rock type move Stone Edge, Stone Edge, the move's base power of 100, 100 is multiplied by, by 1.5 to become 150. Ground and Rock may seem like similar types, but if a ground type Pokemon uses Stone Edge, the move's power will remain 100. I, oh, I, I, I probably haven't thought about this as much as I should have. Like, it multiplies a lot more <laughs> than you realize. Super effective moves and critical hits also add multipliers to this onto this little numerical increase. So it most certainly uh, must not be taken lightly. Let me ask you a question to see if you understand what I'm talking about here. Say if you have more a move with the power of 100, if a Pokemon shares a type with this move, uses it, uh, uses it and hits an opponent that is weak to that type, what happens to that move's power? So... I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Hang on. How is the damage multiplier when you're re it becomes 200? Close. But a power of 200... Yeah, I thought it might have been 300. Uh, but power of 200 would only take it into account the doubling effect of using a move that is super effective against an opponent. First, using a move that shares t a type with its user multiplies the move's base power of 100 by 1.5 making the power 150. The fact that the opponent is weak to the move, then, uh, the move's type, then doubles that power from 150 to 300. The original power of the move ends up being tripled. Isn't that amazing? What's more, if a Pokemon terrestrializes and its terror type matches one of its original types, then the bonus it gets from using a move of the same type increases from 1.5 to 2. Of course, being able to use a lot of moves with different types is great as well. That's one way you can surprise your opponent. In the end, your own innate characteristics are what will really let you shine the most. Bear in mind that this is true for both humans and Pokemon. It sure would be make me happy if you could take those words to heart. But I suppose I should really, should really have shared this basic advice right from my first lesson. Yeah, you probably should. Although I think building up to it makes sense because you have a bigger idea of how much the damage actually multiplies. Because I, I don't know, before it's kind of like... Before actually seeing the numbers and how it multiplies, it's like... You know, it, it does more. But it does a whole lot more if you actually look at the stats. And just like that, class is over. The last of our time together flew by in the blink of an eye. It was so much fun being able to teach all of you 
All, all you eager students about numbers. Next class will be a fun final exam. Be sure to review the material well in preparation. Another class is about to be complete. And then my glorious plan of all the lessons all at once might actually go somewhere. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, but there's still so much left to go. Math final. The final math. Alright everyone, it's time to begin our final exam. I'm sure the fun experiences you all had in my class will serve you well as you answer. How many great balls could you purchase with 3,000? Each cost sound, uh, 600. Uh, five. If a word type move with a power of 100 lands a critical hit on grass type Pokemon. Or the... Uh, more than moves power B. I think it's 50 because it's halved. Under normal circumstances, what percent chance does Stone Age have to land a critical hit? Uh, 12. Yes? No. I feel like 12 is the normal amount, but I can't remember what the... I can't remember the move and what it actually is. If Pokemon uses Sword Stance twice to boost its attack by four stages, how much damage will its physical moves do then? Then do. Uh, triple dam... No, hang on. Sword Stance twice... Boosted by four stages. My poor brain. <laughs> it's triple damage, right? That was weird. If a rock type Pokemon whose terror type is rock terrestrializes, what would be a power of it? It's rock type moves. Be multiplied by two, I believe. All right, everyone, time is up. Put your hands in your laps now. This test is, was the culmination of all I taught you, and I'm sure you all did just fine. Do go and ask for your so scores at the front desk, and then take a nice break. Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> I already took a nice break. It was pretty good. Let us see how I, well I did. Four or five. I'm pretty sure it's the first one that I messed up because I couldn't remember if it was... 12 or something else. That's a passing score. Congratulations. I'm pretty sure, I'm kind of surprised I got that much, considering I'm not really... I wouldn't say I'm great at math, but... Oh, I that, that, that did all right, but it's, it's also very simple, so... XP Candy's M. My, 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 my quick thinking math is not great, mostly. Keep doing your best. Again, very simple, but still. Let's see, what do I want to do? I could do languages. Ah! <laughs> I'm doing it. Here we go. I'm sorry, in advance. Please don't be too bad, please don't be too bad, please don't be too bad. I just need the pronunciation that doesn't exist. At least not here. My dear friends, how are you all today? You certainly look fantastic. It's time for another one of Salvatore's language lessons. Etes vos pretz, are you ready? I, I'm butchering it all, don't worry about it. I'm going in full speed. Ahem. Etes vos pretz, are you ready? Ah, uh, hui. Trespian. Very good. My lessons are not a one way street, non non. I am tres, triste. Wow, when no one speaks up. Very sad, that is. In our last class, I believe I taught you all how to say delicious in other languages, right? I can't remember. In Lekos de Anjurd... Hyo... Hyo... Yui? Ah... I don't know, I'm butchering it as much as I can because I'm pushing through. Today's class, we will... Learn about a very special phrase that you can put to use when the time is just right. Again, they don't give pronunciations, they just have the words. And they have the definitions, but the, the, the pronunciation is the important part. Ah, 
I sh Shetaru Jetame Temo Itch Uh Ik Lebed Deck I don't know Does anyone know what these phrases mean? Uh I don't know Uh no nope that's not what it, it probably means I'm going home? Oh, Jeremy, no, no. I can't let you go home just yet. Ah, why? Why is the language classes the absolute worst? I'm mad. That's a Mavus response. A wrong answer. Jetaim te emo. Ik le le. I can't. I just can't. This is why I was not reading all of the other ones last time I was doing this. These three phrases you may know. I think. Why? Because they're all famous quotes, or famous ways to say "I love you." That's. What the, they're all quite famous. It's if I find. I can't read regular English now. I can't re read. Ah! Oh my! Have I embarrassed you all, my friends? What? Uh, this, 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 this is the end of me. Shy boys and girls, that is. It's so very important to express your feelings about things to others, you know. This is especially true for positive emotions. Those don't exist in this class. Stop lying to us, please. If you get married someday and argue with your spouse over some silly little thing, all you have to do is apologize and say I love you. In a different language, apparently, because that helps or something. And all will be well, that is. I should know why just last last week I had a big argument with my dear wife, that is. But I was quick to say I'm sorry and all was well. And now... <sighs> uh, sorry, I'm gonna need to take a second to breathe. The, the longer this goes on, the more I die inside. And now a pro pros of nothing. Let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. Stop coming to this class. It's best to be quick enough to apologize when you have an argument with someone. That goes for your family's friends and, and your crushes. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Our next class will be the midterm exam. Be sure to review what you, we learned in all our lessons so far. Adios. Metane. We haven't learned anything in these classes. Oh, the only thing we've learned is that you're... It's the, wor it's the worst class to be in. You could actually go into a lot more detail on how to learn these words instead of just saying them. <laughs> Good morning, Master Jeremy. Which class would you like to take? Language is midterm, so I can get them all wrong. This is gonna take a while. Just, just don't worry about it. Can I at least save state so I can load back here quickly? <laughs> Today we take our midterm exam. Sam, relax and do your best. Are you ready? Let's begin. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip through this delicious. I'm pretty sure it's B. Not au revoir. Which these phrases doesn't belong. Time to eat. Right? Yeah. When speaking with a person, what is the first step to a smooth conversation communication? Get mad at them. I'm pretty sure that's the correct answer. <laughs> I, I'm feeling confident enough to pick that one. <laughs> I've already got the points I need. What is his beloved teacher's name? S -S Salvador. Salvador. Nah, he, he deserves it. Time is up. Put down your pens. I hope that was easy enough for you, especially that last question. No, I'm, 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 I answered correctly. This is, you brought this on yourself. I'm still mad at you. 
I'm sure you all did great. Bravo, my friends. You can check your scores at the front school's front desk. Well, three out of five is not bad, especially because I picked one of the wrong answers uh, 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 on purpose and got the last one correct uh, in an incorrect way. <sighs> three out of five correctly. <laughs> How about that then? It's just like I planned. I'm just gonna do the bare minimum of this of this test. I thought it was not here anymore for some reason. Sal Salvatore, more like Salvador. Salvador. I don't know. How did you like the midterm exam? You all did really great. Yeah, I did, didn't I? We're having beef now, aren't we? We're halfway there. Now, time for another... Lesson. Are you ready? Yes, I'm not gonna do the other response anymore. Great answer. Mercy, my friends. I knew I could count, count on you, stars. Leading up to the midterm, we all... We learned all sorts of words from different regions. We didn't learn how to pronounce them, so you, you're all saying them wrong. Starting today, though, I'll be throwing a curveball, for we begin listening com comprehension. Go for it, my assistant. Pika P Pikachu. Pikachu! As you just heard, Pika Pokemon can also use words to communicate. So why don't they do that in the, in the games yet, considering they do in the anime? I don't know. It's not always easy for us to understand them, but their words have meaning, just as ours do. Pokemon can use language to share all kinds of information with each other, like the location of food or whether there may be predators nearby. The same Pokemon cries may sound different depending on what it says, wants to say. I'm sure you're all curious. So, today, let's learn some Pokemon language. If you would be so kind, Pikachu. Pika! What emotion do you suppose Pika was trying to convey just now? Say it again, Pikachu. Happiness. What? That's not right. How How am I supposed to know? <laughs> You're making... Hang on. This class went from actual language with that pronunciation to please understand the animal that's making a sound. This is madness and ridiculousness. Why does this even exist? Sorry, Jeremy, that's not right. Pokemon language is hard, isn't it? I would expect it to be. <laughs> when Pikachu says... I think he's supposed to use the sound that makes rather than the word. It's using its angry voice. That's right, I had my little Pikachu friend here pretend to be angry for us. I don't have to pretend to be angry. <laughs> don't you think you did a great job? Give Pikachu a round of applause, everyone. I need to turn up my sound so I can actually hear. The music's still a bit too loud compared to the sounds, though. The same Pokemon can co even communicate its feelings in many different ways. Their voices change depending on their mood and physical condition. Try listening more carefully to Pokemon. You might gain a deeper understanding of them. That having been said, Pokemon are quite mysterious creatures. Some actually don't communicate with words at all, but instead use things like electromagnetic or ultrasonic waves. Some even use telepathy. Language, everybody! And now... Apros... Uh, apropos... Uh, apropos of nothing, let me give you... You all one of my wise words of advice. If you pokey if you poke at your Pokemon <laughs> I'm so used to saying pokey. Poke at your Pokemon too many times while washing them during picnics, they'll get mad at you. Like Pikachu just demonstrated. So you really shouldn't poke him on. Otherwise he might get mad. That joke was a lie! So was the language class though. Adios. There's still Two more, and then the, and the, the end final exams. Oh my goodness, what's next? Are we gonna start 
reading ancient scripts that I have no idea how to read. We're gonna start reading the sun and moon and stars or something, I don't know. We're gonna read the emotion on the Pikachu's face. <laughs> it's just the default emotion. Just pick a Pokemon that doesn't have a face. We can't see its face. I have to guess the emotion that it's on his face. My dear friends, how are you all today? I hope you are doing marvelously well. It's time for another of Salvatore's language lessons. Are you ready? I would expect no less from my excellent friends. Even your replies to my questions are excellent. Today, we will once again be focusing on listening. Go for it, my assistant. Pika P Pikachu. I was joking, game. Don't do it, please. As you may remember from our last class, the same Pokemon Christ may sound different, depending on the way on what it set wants to say. Today, we will be learning about more about language used by Pokemon. If you'd be so kind, Pikachu. Hmm, that sounds a little bleak, doesn't it? Its voice seems a little lower pitched too. Why does Pikachu sound so high pitched in the anime? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. What emotion do you suppose Pikachu was trying to convey just now? Surprise? <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you want from me, game? No, Jeremy, that's incorrect, unless perhaps Pikachu was so surprised that it dropped a tasty berry. When Pikachu says... He's expressing sadness. I could have... I, my next guess was happiness, because I have no idea. Kind of makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Yeah, this entire class wants me make me wants make me I cry. I cry. <laughs> that's just, just yeah, that's all I can come up with is I cry. That's right, I had my little Pikachu cry as if it was crying. Haha, <laughs> funny joke, right? You're, you're making fun of me, aren't you? We're really having beef at this point. The game's self-aware. Do you don't you think you it did a great job? Give Pikachu a round of applause, everyone. <laughs> Boo! I mean, I mean, yes, it did a good job of expressing its own emotions, but also... How am I supposed to know? <laughs> and now, I perhaps, uh, nothing like me always... If you hear a wannabe Pokemon making sad noises this, like this one, you should treat them with even more kindness than usual. Well, you, you probably already knew that, though. Piece of cake for you all, I'm sure. Of course, this goes for all your, for your classmates and others as well. Friends should support each other in times of sadness. I truly hope that you can all have smiles on your faces all the time, my friends. Hey, look, Isabel, I'm out of here. Approaching uh, approach curves. Next lesson, that is, will be our final lesson together. I hope you're ready for the climactic final finale. Adios, matinee. Oh my goodness, it's almost over. I grow weary. <laughs> Languages 6. Pure suffer suffering. All right, everybody. Let's see where we go. Ah, uh, my dear friends, how are you all today? I was trying to make a joke and I couldn't come up with anything because I'm so dead. It's time for the last of Salvatore's language lessons. Are you ready? Yes. What is the response? Fantastic. Great answer. Great answer. That is perfect for our last class together. I love it. And now, George Cure. Today, we will once again be having a listening lesson. Vassy. Vass, 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 wow. Go for it, my sister Pika P. Pikachu. Let's get right into it, my little Pikachu friend. How are we gonna. How are we gonna. 
do the exams if it's all sound based. For our last listening lesson class, tell everyone how you're feeling right now. Se sil te plet. Take your surprise and pick his voice. Very the I surprise. I don't know happiness. Yeah, I got it right. I didn't think that's what that was because it doesn't sound. Ah, it just sounds like sound. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm so happy you got it right. I get it. Oh my goodness, he's making fun of me more every time. Every time he's making more fun of me. When Pikachu says. It's expressing happiness. Doesn't it make you just want to break out into a happy dance? But I didn't have to ask Pikachu to put on an act today. Oh no, I simply asked it to, to show you all how it felt about being going to class with you. Getting to meet so many new friends and study together in this class with you. It's made both me and my little Pikachu so very happy. And now, one last, last word of advice. As you live your lives, I'm sure you will have times when you get mad or sad. This, it's too, it's too self-aware. I'm leaving. Maybe even more than you would like. You know, it's too self-aware, I'm out of here. Goodbye. That was a good visual gag that nobody's gonna ever see. Everything has its ups and downs. Life is a little very, 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 I'm stuck, I'm just saying the same thing over here. It's a roller coaster. But Dalafin, in the end, that is, there is surely happiness waiting for you. So, Gardez le Sere, keep on a smile on your face, even in the hardest of times. When you're faced with a problem that you can't handle alone, find someone to rely on. Be it a teacher, your family, your friends, anyone. So I should make somebody else read this out for me and just completely scrap this entire recording, is what you're saying. That seems like a good idea. I'm not gonna do- <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, sadly. Next lesson will be our final exam. Be sure to review what we've learned and all the lessons so far. Adios. Can you tell that I'm really done with the lesson- with the language lessons? Oh my goodness, how is this even gonna be? Is it gonna ask me for what pitch it needs to sound like? Because I'm not gonna know. It's probably just gonna have random words that I've not seen yet. Maybe. Well, I finished my water, unfortunately. Azure Hyur! Today, we take our final exam! Uh... Detendez Verse. Or relax, that is. And do your best. It's just first prets. Are you ready? Let's begin. Which is following me means delicious. This seems familiar. What is going on? Uh, what do these two foreign phrases mean? Uh, I love you, right? Uh... Anger. Say it again, Pikachu. I'm pretty sure it's anger. Maybe it was sadness. Maybe this is anger. If I just guess B on all, all the things, I'll be getting it right. Now, I really want to get this wrong, but I think I'm going to have to go Sal Salvatore to <laughs> Labrador. <laughs> Salvatore, just to make sure I get enough points because I'm pretty sure I got one, at least one of those questions wrong. Says Finny, time is up. Pose zes vos stelos. Put down your pens, that is. I assume your obligatory Dorne question, last question that is, gave you no trouble. I, I wish that I did it wrong. I'm, s I'm sure you all did great. Bravo, my friends. You can get your scores at the school's front desk. Please pass, please pass, please pass. Just let it end. Before I have to take more lessons in how the, the, the two, 
two walls make a word or something. Four out of five. I don't know which one of the sounds I got wrong, but I don't know how- I'm pretty sure the first one is sadness, probably. Five XP Kenny's M. Oh my goodness. Two more classes left. 